This morning at approximately 12, 15, 12, 17 a.m., uh, Oklahoma City Police Officer on Routine Patrol uh, ran across a vehicle that was facing northbound and the eastbound lanes of Northwest 63rd, just west of, excuse me, just east of Western Avenue. Uh, upon further investigation, he found the vehicle running. The occupant was still in the vehicle. He made contact with that person to make sure he was okay. He stated he was. Uh, the vehicle had crashed into a fire hydrant. Uh, further investigation, he asked the driver what he was doing and how he ended up in this position. Uh, the driver stated that a vehicle pulled out from 63rd and Shark Hill. He tried to avoid that vehicle, took evasive actions, and struck the fire hydrant. Uh, the officer noted that the driver had a strong odor of alcohol about his presence, bloodshot, watery eyes. He performed field sobriety testing on the individual. Um, based on the results of the field sobriety test, he placed him under arrest for DUI. He escorted the subject back to his car, placed him in the car, and on further investigation, determined that the story that the driver gave him regarding the accident was quite inconsistent with what uh, the evidence at the scene noted. Uh, he noted that the vehicle apparently left the roadway some several yards west of the location of the crash site, indicating that the, the driver's story was inaccurate as to what happened. Uh, that driver was identified as uh, Ronald Kelly. Mr. Kelly was transported to the Oklahoma County Jail and he was processed for the charge of DUI and two counts of failure to devote full-time attention to the driver. And this is not the councilman's first DUI arrest? No, he was arrested uh, April 16th of 2009 for the same charge, 